welcome back to the facilities. You know, I just want to show you how human I am. You know, I got a, I got a lot of things, you know, that I worry about. I'm just not up here carefree. But, you know, I learned to adjust to them. You know, you find the tools that you need. You know, you get a little rub, rub on your muscles and everything. And, uh, you know, you feel good, you know. And I'll show you how you do it. You just rub, rub them in there. Yes, I'm Italian. I gotta sometimes I have to shave. Nothing I can do about it. Well, sometimes up here I'll get, you know, not not too much. But I don't know. Maybe it's all the tea I drink, you know, I just uh, I just start to go a little hair on your shoulders. But I got you know, you you can also shave it. I'm sorry, the voice here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm getting a little choked up here because um, I'm finally, finally like hitting it all on my own. You know, I mean, it makes sense. You know, it makes perfect sense. It's been a battle. I mean, uh, who would have thought it was going to be like this when I went back to college? I had no idea it was going to be like this, you know, because I had hit rock bottom, you know, and I think that kind of had a lot to do with the falling out. It's sad, you know, it's sad because you, because, God, I mean, you, you know, you know how it is, you know, raising kids and everything, you know, you become 20, they go out and they, you know, everything, you know, they got so much power, you know, I did it, you know, I did it all in my time. I, uh, no, I don't regret one thing, but I also did things right, in a way. Uh, I didn't need any, I didn't need any, need any false kinds of uh, things. It was all real. It was all from the heart, and that that's what matters. You know, it was all from heart. Uh, God, if I was uh, 21 years old right now, and I knew of a relative that had a hard time, you know. I would be there, I'd be like, wow, you know, you're my relative, you know, you're my blood here, you know, you've taken care of your mother here, you, you made all these sacrifices, uh, you, all the things that happened to you, why are you still here, and there goes the music, well, what I would do is, I would explain it to him gently, as my father once said, so we lost Metallica, all right, do we have a backup song? Alright, we'll try the one from Chris. Chris, I don't know how to say your name there. I'll have to go back over the Facebook. I'll just say Chris for now. Chris Bo, I don't know. Alright, thank you for that one. Alright, back to the story here. Okay, uh, it's always distractions. You know, that that's that's what it is in this world. It's always major, big time distractions. And I refuse. I refuse to um, get distracted. Although I did. I mean, back in December, I thought we're, I thought everything was perfect. I thought we were bringing everything together. Um, I thought I was being accepted by my family. I'm like, yeah, this is the year. This is the year uh, I'm just going to get some recognition. You know, it's not that I'm, I got a power trip or an ego. I just a little bit of respect. You know, you have a 25-year-old person come in the room and not look at you and not say one thing, but has something to say about uh, a certain thing that happened. And that's what it's been all about. About severing ties, about not being associated. Fine. Fine. Everyone's got the right free will to decide on their own. And I do too. And you do. And everyone does. So, you made your points. You made your case known. And, uh, we wish you the best. The very best. But, uh, there's that new tune here. Yeah, 
and we gotta go get a fresh little cup of tea here. Uh, that was only. Oh, here's the thing too with the glass. See this glass here? We have a lot of them. And yesterday during the show, here's what happened. I'll explain. I keep it up here, and I got up and I hit it, and it just fell down here. It was all over. Then I got a phone call at uh, 6:30 in the morning, right around the glass fell, and I was like walking over. I cleaned up as best as I could. And yesterday, you know, when I get back for lunch, I really don't eat too much lunch. I only eat twice a day, by the way. Um, sometimes I do, but I usually eat after the show. But anyway, the glass was all here. I cleaned up, thought I cleaned up the best that I, I could. And I came back and I uh, had a lot of things to do in the afternoon. And I was debating on whether to call Florida or call someone new here on the show because obviously nobody wants to take advantage of it. And that's fine. It really is fine. I mean, really. I mean, it's there. I mean, we have uh, how many millions of people here out on Facebook and nobody wants to call a show? I'm a good host. I, you know, I mean, I know a lot of my interviews from the, in the past. That's the past. You know, that got us here. But, um, yeah. Anyways, she came in. I was, I was on there feeding off of my storyline. But she came in and uh, she said, "There's glass." She goes, "What you? Do? Ooh, is that my good glass?" She's got like 20 of them. I mean, how do you? How can you know which one is good if they all look like it? And I will if, if I have to. I'll bring them all in. All these glasses she have, I can just keep on breaking them and come out with a new one. Anyway, we'll see you back. Uh, amble time here. So I have to meet with um, someone early this morning, and. Uh, I have to make a phone call too because they are going to show me how to um, work all the equipment here for the street interviews and stuff like that because, uh, oh, we need them. I've been holding fort. I've been holding things down until we can get there if uh, time allows us or if, uh, you know, we don't know. Changes occur every minute. It seems like that's how we're running things. Uh, we just keep on running, running here, running there, running, running, running. 